Hello, all my friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. This is a how to fix some items uh, video. My friend asked me about something that was happening with his electric bike and I researched it and fixed it on my own bike. So I'm making this video for everybody who might be having the same problem. Please subscribe, like the video, click on the bell. When I pop up, my little eclectic image pops up near the end, move your cursor to that, and you'll have an opportunity to subscribe. Thank you all. So, <clears throat> so this is what was happening with my friend. He told me as he was riding, he could hear his brake caliper pad scraping every now and then. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And I had the same issue. Uh, I followed the instructions. Uh, but obviously I didn't do something right. And then I eventually researched it on YouTube. And this is how I fixed it. I recentered the particular wheel. For me, it was my front wheel. So what did I do? This is what I did. I took off the connections. I loosened up each bolt this has bolts because there's a motor there and when this was loose I then grabbed the brake caliber and held the brake caliber so I stretched holding on to the brake caliber I then turned this one turn that one turn this one turn that one until they were both tight and then when I looked down through the uh, the brake caliper, I could see daylight. And so I knew at that point that the wheel was perfectly centered and my sound was gone. Now this bike is basically 100% solid. The only thing that makes some noise is the basket, which I added a couple wire ties today to see if this little handle uh, was causing the remaining uh, squeaks every now and then. But that's how you fix a rubbing brake pad. Your wheel, that's the first and easiest thing to try. And there's YouTube videos uh, out there that showed me how to do it. But you just loosen up your front wheel or whatever particular wheel. Hold that brake caliber, which helps center the, uh, the disc and the pads. And then retighten it equally. And hopefully that will take care of your problem. The other issue that I had with the bike, which in every video I've ever watched, everybody has the same issue, and that is rattles here or there. And so I couldn't stand the rattles. So I added some caulk, caulk. I actually used Gorilla uh, water rubber back, waterproof rubber back tape. And I used black Permatex here and on all the metal pieces on the back as well. I made sure everything was wire tied tight and then I used the Gorilla. I used this Gorilla. It's got a sticky back that you peel off so it's like rubber. Uh, last forever and then again black permatex on the screws I loosened this up I loosened up the screws on the back I loosened up the screws on the back standing on the front lifted this up and I put permatex automotive permatex black adhesive steel it flows really easy lasts forever and then the clear I used was window glass sealer because it flows like water and it gets in all the cracks and crevices and now my bike is squeak free i hear squeaky bikes on every bike video the other thing that i wanted to tell you that i done since i bought this bike i bought this extra wide seat 14 inches by 12 inches it's made by YLG. I did this because I want to travel. I have, I have ridden 
a little over 41 miles and I have no issues with comfort. I also added this basket which came with a liner and netting and I attached that to the rack that came with the bike um, because uh, same reason I added the front basket. I added this front basket which is the only one that I found uh, would work that holds off from the frame and no it doesn't interfere with the wires and if you wanted to i have it set up so you can't but if you wanted to you could actually take the bike the basket off the bike and the frame still would be there i did that because i plan on traveling i my one of my ultimate goals is to travel from travel from washington dc to pittsburgh and i have my I, I have this in the beginning stages of for long distance traveling, which is why I added the, uh, the carriers. The other thing I did, I bought a kryptonite lock. It's a level seven kryptonite. I also bought three years worth of bike theft insurance uh, for like 35 hours. So when you lock it up, if somebody steals my bike, uh, kryptonite, you have to file a police report. Kryptonite will pay, uh, pay me to, for the replacement of the bike. I added these lights. These are separate. And I did that. That's normally where I have them both. And I did that because I wanted to be visible. I added this bag, which you can put your phone in here and you still press your buttons through this. This is a pretty good bag. And then you could put odds and ends in there. Right now I have my keys. I added a horn, which is right here. Uh, it's also an alarm. It's also an alarm uh, that comes with the remote. And then I just added this new phone holder since I started to do the GoPro so that I could uh, manage the GoPro through my phone much more uh, much easier than here and then because of all the stuff I added I had to put this extension bar on here so I have this extension bar from Rock Brothers and I used that to attach the basket uh, because I wanted this I keep things uh, like maybe my money bag or whatever here I also bought two bottle holders one I keep the bottle this is my extra security horn uh, for bad people or bad dogs. And I also have a little container mason here because it's got some Velcro. It's got Velcro pieces. So I have my, my Fit Crunch protein bars. And uh, I had a little Allen wrench in here in case any of these things loosened up, readily available. Pepper spray and then a bungee cord if I put anything in here like my six pack of uh corona and uh what else did i add oh i added lizard skins i did that to protect the frame from chain slap because if you go off road you will hit and you can see where the chain has banged here so i put these lizard skins on to protect the cables and to protect the frame and I put a set over here too, just to make it uniform. I cut it into different pieces to protect the wires. And then the other nice thing that I bought, uh, the pedals that come with it were fine, except I really want to crank this bike when I am trying to go fast. So I exert a lot of pressure and I have big fat hoofs. So I bought these uh, pedals. They're extra big and they have replaceable little points on them to grip your shoe because I tried using stirrups from my old mountain bike and that was like a death wish and then I also bought velcro that I thought would be easier again another death wish but these things here are perfect they're about uh they're about an inch or so wider this way and about almost an inch wider this way these things these things were a great purchase as well and then I think the last thing that I bought that I put on a bike, I bought the mirrors, which 
I never thought I'd put mirrors on a bike. They are a godsend if you ride on the road because you can see what's happening behind you. You can see if there's any craziness. You can just monitor the cars, whether you need to scoot over a little bit more or actually what I like to do is give everybody an opportunity to pass, especially if it looks like they're anxious and in a hurry. I will either slow down and pull to the shoulder uh, a little bit, or if I'm pedaling the speed limit, which this bike, I can pedal, I've had this bike pedaled myself on flat a little over 40. I can keep up with most of the speed limits. I'll just take over the lane and I'll just watch behind me. So I love this bike. I've kind of made it my own with the accessories. I've had it about six weeks. I'm pushing 300 miles. Um, it's This electric bike is the best thing that I ever purchased. And even though it looks a little ET like, my nephew said ET, ET. These are for GoPro for video. Uh, I love it. I love, I love it so much that I have already, I've already waxed it with one of my favorite waxes. Graphene uh, wax. And uh, I did that especially, I did it like four or five times. I stacked the wax in here because of where this was gonna go. Uh, but it's so super smooth now and this wax I use it, I've used it for my vehicles now for over a year it helps dirt and dust not stay on the bike uh, I like to use it around the calipers they are not that dirty at all and the wax Wax helps keep them clean. So there's another thing that I like, the graphene wax. And uh, and in case you were looking here, this is left blinker, right blinker. Not on the bike, but on my helmet. I bought this Lumos helmet. I found it on sale for $68. It's got blinkers built into it, front and back along with the regular light here. And I have it programmed so that this rear light actually also has a brake light. So when I slow down, this light, will, this center light will illuminate. Um, but that button, that button here, this is for my left, left blinker on my helmet and my right blinker. So anyway, I hope you all found it helpful with regards to the the rubbing sound from your brakes and from the squeaks and the little things that I bought. Uh, I hope that helps you all. And thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe, smash the subscribe button, click on the like, click on the bell. And uh, I'm hopefully these videos are getting better and better. And uh, I love y'all.